We begin today's wrestling news and rumors video with some major news regarding former WWE SmackDown Women's Champion Naomi, and by all means it's certainly great news. Now as some of you have likely heard, Sasha Banks, or now Mercedes Money, shocked the wrestling world when she debuted in New Japan Pro Wrestling last night at Wrestle Kingdom 17, and following that huge wrestling return of Sasha Banks, many fans began speculating that Naomi, who walked out of WWE WWE with Sasha Banks was also going to be making the move over to New Japan in the near future, especially considering Naomi was in attendance at New Japan's event last night. But according to breaking new backstage reports, that's not the case whatsoever. According to one of our sources, Naomi is not headed to New Japan, and is instead going to be returning to WWE television in the very near future meaning that Triple H and WWE were able to work things out with Naomi so that she could finally be brought back to television since walking out of the company back in May of 2022 with Sasha Banks. And by all means, this is certainly huge news that Naomi will be returning to WWE's women's division very soon. But a little surprising seeing as though Sasha Banks and Naomi were very close, and fans imagined that Naomi would also be heading over to New Japan with Sasha Banks or Mercedes Money. But that's clearly not the case. Naomi will reportedly be coming back to the SmackDown brand imminently, and as expected, most fans are eagerly awaiting Naomi's comeback and questioning when exactly Naomi's return will happen, and we have the answer you're looking for. A new backstage rumor has revealed that Triple H and WWE are planning for Naomi to make a return to the company during the 30-woman Royal Rumble match later this month at the 2023 Royal Rumble Premium Live event, with Naomi slated in to be one of the big special returns during the Women's Royal Rumble match this year, which is definitely exciting news. Now it has been reported that Triple H really tried hard to get both Naomi and Sasha Banks to return to the WWE, but it was only Naomi who agreed to the terms of the new deal with WWE for her to return. And Sasha Banks reportedly felt like her time in WWE was over and that she needed to try something new, hence why she turned down any and all WWE return offers from Triple H and other backstage officials. But at the end of the day, at least Naomi is returning to the company, and she will be a very valuable addition to SmackDown's women's division, and hopefully she'll be getting some great storylines and a big push following her reported return at the 2023 Royal Rumble Premium Live event, because Naomi definitely deserves it, and should really be pushed into SmackDown women's title contention again very soon. Now speaking of Sasha Banks, aka Mercedes Money's huge return to wrestling, we definitely have to talk about the legit boss finally making her big comeback to the ring. And by all means, all fans can talk about right now is Sasha's shocking debut in New Japan last night at Wrestle Kingdom 17, under the new ring name Mercedes Money. Sasha Banks, or Mercedes Money, made her debut in New Japan by confronting Kairi Sane after she retained her title, and fans were definitely excited. However, unfortunately, a part of Mercedes Money's New Japan Pro Wrestling debut appearance was botched, because when Mercedes got into an altercation with Kairi Sane, Mercedes Money or Sasha Banks botched a brand new finishing move, which did receive a bit of criticism or backlash from fans on social media, and that her debut in New Japan was a bit tainted by that unfortunate moment, and that her comeback is now off to a great start after Wrestle Kingdom 17. With that said, botching moves is something that simply happens in wrestling all the time. And while many fans are talking about that botched finishing move potentially affecting Sasha Banks or Mercedes Money's return in a negative way, this will likely be forgotten soon. And this definitely does not mean that Sasha Banks' return was a failure, or that she won't be doing some great things in wrestling outside of WWE. It was simply an unfortunate mistake. Regardless of the botched new finishing move, most fans are extremely happy and excited to see Sasha Banks back in the ring, because at one point late last year, there were rumors that Sasha Banks was flat out done in the ring and was going to be pursuing acting and other business ventures. So while some may be disappointed that Sasha Banks is not returning to WWE like many originally hoped, Mercedes money in New Japan is still very intriguing, potentially even more interesting than Banks coming back to WWE, because it is something different. There is a breaking new backstage rumor going around right now that while Mercedes Money will be working with New Japan, she may be AW bound in the near future. And many fans are very excited at the thought of Sasha Banks in All Elite Wrestling, and as of right now that is looking like it's a very strong possibility. 
Let us know your thoughts on Sasha Banks or Mercedes Money's New Japan Pro Wrestling debut last night at Wrestle Kingdom 17. And are you excited that Sasha Banks is in New Japan and could also be coming to AEW very soon? And what did you overall think of her debut appearance? Now while we just recently got to see the in-ring return of the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns on the final SmackDown episode of 2022, which saw Reigns and Sami Zayn team up and face off against John Cena and Kevin Owens in a losing effort, according to a breaking new backstage rumor, Roman Reigns is sadly not going to be appearing very much in WWE this year in 2023, and Reigns is reportedly already gone after SmackDown last week and will not be appearing much at all. It has been rumored that Roman Reigns will surprisingly only be wrestling one match between the 2023 Royal Rumble and WrestleMania 39 in early April. And as far as actual in-person appearances from Roman Reigns on SmackDown, these will apparently be quite limited as well, meaning as though the undisputed WWE Universal Champion will be gone from WWE more than he's around this year, which is definitely disheartening or upsetting news, because he holds both the WWE and Universal Championships, and is by far the top draw of WWE as well. Regardless, the reasons behind why Roman Reigns is going to be gone from WWE more than he's around in 2023 is still a bit unclear, although one of our sources has reported that Reigns really wants to take it easy this year and wrestle even less dates than last year, which saw Roman Reigns become a part-timer after WrestleMania 38. So clearly, Roman Reigns is now shifting from a part-timer to a special appearance draw like The Undertaker or Brock Lesnar. Which again is unfortunate given how important Reigns is in WWE right now as the undisputed champion, and by all means it is likely that lots of fans will be happy to see Roman Reigns lose the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at WrestleMania this year, so that the titles are freed up and back on the shows regularly again. We finish off today's wrestling news and rumors video with a big update regarding William Regal's current status in WWE. Now as most of you are likely aware, there have been many rumors and reports that William Regal was on his way back to WWE after finishing up his deal with AEW, and some breaking news has now been revealed. William Regal is officially back in WWE as of today, January 4th, 2023, which is definitely very exciting news, and it is great to see William Regal back in the company he belongs, as his release in the first place did not make any sense whatsoever. 